Are you ready to move away from mid-wash and start to look a little bit more chic? Then you've come to the right place. What's up guys, I'm Parker York Smith. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we are a men's fashion and lifestyle channel all about how to look your best without breaking the bank. Because ultimately, dressing well is about feeling good about yourself and boosting your confidence. So let's talk about jeans. Originally patented in 1873 by Jacob W. Davis and Levi Strauss, these are like the OG 501 jeans right here. They have become a modern menswear staple, which is kind of funny because originally when they came out, they were mainly just for workers out in the fields. And then they started to kind of move into like kids who are a little bit counterculture, like greasers and stuff like that. And nowadays they're like the most mainstream piece of menswear. So today we're talking about dark jeans and how you can style those in several different ways in order to really heighten your outfits and make you look just a little bit more put together. In the mid 1900s, Japan really jumped on the bandwagon of American workwear and started creating some of the best denim in the world. These that I'm gonna be styling today are from Kato brand. It is a Japanese denim company that absolutely kills it. These are a slim fit. I think that slim is the best option to go with when you are gonna get yourself some dark jeans. Obviously, there's wide leg, there's super skinny, there's everything in between, but slim is the most versatile. So if you're not looking to buy a bunch of different pairs, if you're gonna get just one, make it slim. So the five ways we're gonna style these today, we're gonna do one that's super casual, very easy everyday wear. We're gonna do one that is kind of like outdoorsy, because I'm a big fan of that, especially in this fall season. We're gonna do one that is sort of business casual. So if you have meetings and things like that, you need to look nice for, you can still wear dark jeans like this. We're gonna do one that is for date night, a little bit more elevated, so you can look nice and impress your date. And then we're gonna do one that is sort of edgy, kind of streetwear inspired. Fun! So for this first look, super casual. We're going with the slim denim like we are with every look today. Throw on a t-shirt, something fitted, something comfortable for you. I stuck with this green one that I'm wearing in the video, and then you surround it with other similar pieces. So I'm going with a pair of sneakers to keep it super casual and comfortable. You can almost make those a little bit of the statement of the outfit if you are into that sort of thing, or obviously just a simple minimal sneaker works really well. Two, from there, throw on a nice lightweight jacket. Maybe it's like a denim jacket in a slightly different wash. With a dark pair of jeans, I'm a big fan of wearing a lighter wash denim jacket. It just kind of contrasts things and makes it look really interesting. Or you could throw on a bomber or something, a hoodie, just anything that's very casual and comfortable and still gonna make you feel good about yourself. For the outdoorsy look, we've got the jeans and then you're gonna go with a Henley shirt. Henleys are one of my favorite shirts during the fall and winter just because they really make me feel masculine, but they're also super versatile. You can wear them with a ton of different types of outfits. Over that, you can either throw on like a cardigan sweater or even like a flannel shirt if you wanna really embrace that kind of Paul Bunyan outdoorsy vibe. I like to do this and roll the sleeves up a little bit, let the Henley show underneath the shirt and just kind of rock it like that on those days when it's chilly, but it's not like super cold. And then for the shoes, we're gonna do a pair of boots just because it kind of really leans into the outdoorsy vibe. I love these Blundstones with it just because it makes me feel extremely comfortable, but also like I don't really care what's going on. If the weather gets really weird or whatever happens, I'm still gonna feel stylish. For the business casual look, again, when you have a meeting or you need to look a little bit more presentable but you don't need to be wearing a full suit, go with the dark jeans, a dress shirt, something that you can wear a tie with, combine it with a knit tie, something like this because it is gonna be a little bit less formal than a traditional business suit tie, and then throw on a lightweight blazer. I love this brown one just because it kind of embraces a sort of fall color palette. And then you can wear these dark jeans with a pair of dress shoes and dress socks and make it look really nice. Cuff them up a couple times if you wanna kind of show the sock or you don't have to cuff them at all if that's not your style. It kind of does make things a little bit more dressy without the cuff. Date night. It's super fun. I'm a big fan of kind of surprising your date when you do have a date night with an outfit that they wouldn't necessarily always expect you to wear. So throw on the dark jeans, go with a polo shirt, and then you're gonna throw on, again, a sports jacket or some type of slightly dressier coat over that and then go with a pair of dressier boots. Don't do a dress shoe with this just because it kind of looks a little bit more nerdy when you do that in my opinion, but 
a great pair of dress boots. So something with a little bit of like a cleaner, shinier leather or get your boots shined before the date if you really want to impress them. But this creates a look that is elevated but still very comfortable. So no matter what you have going on, you're going to look great. And I can assure you that your date is going to be very impressed and very happy with the fact that you put in a little bit of extra effort to make yourself look nice for the date. And finally, we got the edgy look. Now, obviously, anytime you're going to edge up your looks, you want to embrace darker colors. So the fact that the jeans are already dark works really well. And then for me, as soon as I think edgy, I just go immediately to black. So I go with a darker colored shirt, throw on a hoodie over that. And then if you want, if it's really cold, you can actually layer a jacket on top of that as well. I'm doing this leather jacket that I got from the Alex Costa collection over top of the hoodie just because I really love those different layers and it allows me to be really warm if it's super cold outside, but I can easily just take off the jacket or the hoodie and tie it around my waist if it does get a little bit too warm. For the shoes, black boots. It's just a simple, reliable idea that you are always gonna look good in. And again, an outfit like this, if theoretically, if you wanted to, you could throw on some Jordans or something that's a little bit more hype beast inspired. I like that as well. But for just a generic works for everybody type look, a dark pair of boots, you can't go wrong. Boom! Now you know how to style dark jeans. Go out and get yourself a pair. Slim fit. They are the best, most reliable option. I cannot recommend them enough. You're going to get so much wear out of them, you're going to be blown away. They work with literally everything. Really appreciate you guys watching. Go follow me on Instagram and turn on post notifications so you can see how I am styling dark jeans all fall, all winter long. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already. Tell a friend about the channel. I'll see you guys next time.